models have it easy walking for a living, it's often harder than it looks. Having to walk on slippery runways in mile-high stilettos in front of a live audience would be daunting for the best of us, and these girls often have to do it five or six times a day, in tight little outfits on very little sleep. In our 21 years on the air, we've seen our share of spectacular wipeouts, so we decided to compile them to determine exactly what makes a runway show hazardous. The first cause is the surface of the catwalk itself. Marble floors, you walk and look pretty. You don't try to do the hip action. If designers request it, they're not wearing it, you get on the runway and you do what's best for you. It's how you navigate the clothes. It's about clothing navigation. By far the most common hazard is difficult or risky footwear. If you thought your stilettos were tricky, wait till you see some of these shoes. The worst is when you get these shoes and this runway is like 45 meters long or something ridiculous like that. And it's like, oh my god, I have to be the first one out. If I trip, I'm screwed. <laughs> like... I pray before. I always do a little very quick, short, intense pray. I always do. I always God, please don't let me fall. Don't break my heels. Some of these catwalks are a little painful to watch. I hold my breath and I, my whole body is tense until those girls make it. I really can feel for them. Rest a little bit. 